that cop? Like Alright, let's see what we can do. Regroup at the the cop shop. He's in an interview too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. Probably. Interview two is over this way. No, it wasn't. Whoopsie. Wrong way. Let's go. Move your dick. Swine. You swine. Oh, there he is. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. Contact. You went to Baron's bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. He's obviously bullshitting. But do I have the thing that says... Hold on, victim's movements. Crystal Ballroom. So I'm just gonna say doubt. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. I caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. That worked out. Incident with Bates. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna doubt him. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jesse. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessica. Clearly. Movements. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Uh, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab and I caught a bus back to the base. Hold on, let me let me rehear that. Where did you go after the Crystal Ballroom? Uh, I think the wind had gone out of her sails by then. She caught a cab, and I caught a bus back to the base. I don't believe that either. You can tell by the way his... Well, maybe. He's kind of keeping an eye on me, and I don't have anything to show. My CO is gonna kill me. Yellow cab. That's all we have up till then. So I think I might believe it. Actually, it's hard to tell. He's kind of looking around. I'm gonna doubt it. We spoke to the cab driver. Tell us what really happened at the Crystal Ballroom. I'd had enough. They're good. She was all upset about her husband bawling about her kids. She she looked old. Left around closing, maybe 1.30. Got on a bus and she fell asleep on my shoulder. Which bus? An All-American, 249. I went past her place. She jumped off and I stayed on it downtown. After that, I caught another bus to San Pedro. The Indiana's down there. She's being scrapped. And that was the last you saw of Teresa. Yeah, that's right. We didn't say much. I think she was kind of embarrassed. The cab driver said that you were getting pretty familiar with Teresa. That's not how I'd put it. Wow. You're telling the truth. You little weasel. Look how he's trying... Look, he's kind of smiling. We don't have anything on that.
I'm just gonna say doubt again. So the last thing you wanted was her playing hard to get. Did that make you mad, sailor? Yeah, it did. She knew what a guy's looking for, all broads do. Dancing comes second. And what happened at the crystal ballroom? Nothing. Not even a little hand relief. She had another couple of drinks. There was no fun left in her. Just poured her guts out to some bartender. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. Sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Really? And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. So we haven't given up on all, all hope on the what hobos. Now? Drive all the way to San Pedro and check his locker? Let's see if the bus story checks out. There's a depot at 1660 Beverly Boulevard. I've been in this job 20. So, what's... We can go to the bus depot. Or the hobo camp. What should we do? Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. Still no hard evidence on any of them. KGPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. What's up? 11K, go ahead. Patrolman reporting that Bobby Ross's car game is breaking up at midnight. 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, folks. It's possible. Have them bring him in. Oh. KTPL, we have Lars Carrollton picked up. So they finished their stuff. So their his thing doesn't really hold up that much. So we can go to the hobo camp or the bus depot. Let's go to the hobo camp, see what we can finish. Maybe we can find something there, I don't know. We haven't had much luck there. It was literally the shortest like thing ever, the shortest mission ever. So I had a feeling they weren't gonna give it up that easy. This officer needs help. Bank of America, Seventh and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, Seventh and Olive. Whoa! Shit! Oh, I didn't accept it. I should have. Damn. Why is it so hazy? He looks pretty fucked up. LAPD! We'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists! Come to move us on and steal what little we have left! Six rounds won't get us far. This is pretty crazy. If you want your rightful share, win. Damn it. I know there's a trophy for keeping your hat on in a fight. Oh, oh, he got his ass kicked. Holy, did he ever get his ass kicked. What's your name? Comrade Stalin. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more to me than what the Japanese have already done. Oh, we can do worse, my friend. Let me tell you that. Definitely look into Kremlin's some. over here, Phil. Thoughts, see what you find. Purse. Crystal Ackerman doesn't ballroom. Much of a dancer. Hey. I think he looks pretty guilty. Another picture, a picture? Is that of him in the war? Yeah. 
not sure this means much. There's the rope. Looks familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. I might go to the bus depot though. And just make sure. Because it looks like he's the suspect, but last time I did that. Oh look at this. Newspaper. Missing morphine. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the lighthouse club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Benson, this is Courtney Sheldon. He's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two nice will want suit. to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors, but they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest. My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. I'd say, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained. I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. Wow. This guy just keeps getting deeper and deeper into his little dope war. I'd like to find the rest of these papers. Maybe see what else we can get. So I'm just I'm just under halfway. I don't think there's much in this thing. Let's look. That's the guy. I heard he's on his spot. No. I'll have some oxymoron for you. Let's get to the bus depot. Maybe we can find something there. You can't do this! And there's still hobos here, so we're not gonna fuck with them. 